Well, we just finished up doing our elk kebabs, and we got a phone call from a good buddy of mine, Leon Ferguson. He had a run of good luck on some jugs out on the lake. He said he caught a pretty nice blue cat, so we're headed over there as quick as we can to check him out. And I got to get the net, got to get the net. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in a second. get a fish especially these tough blue cats just ring them right behind the gills yeah ring them right behind the gills and y'all they're pretty tough so always cut a slit on both sides around this fin because if you don't you can't hardly get them skinned out dorsal fin there i guess yeah it's pretty tough around there and I'm trying to get this belly meat, but we'll see what happens once we start skinning them. You just want to grab a hold and just go a little bit at a time. Be careful on that belly meat because it'll tear away from it. I'll try to get what I can out of these fish. The bigger ones are a lot easier to salvage the belly meat, but... That belly meat's real good this time of year, right? Oh yeah, it's delicious. Cool water. Oh yeah, cold blue cats. It takes a little strength, but I've done a few of them. <laughs> a couple. A couple. Two or three. Ain't no sense of wasting now. Get my knife up in there. Try to get all I can out of it. Keep hold of it. Cut all the way down there. Try to get Try to keep that blood out of it if you can't, because it's hard to rinse that out. Mm. Real white. Delicious. Yep. I like to get all that blood out of there. Look at that. I mean, it's all but bright white by the time he gets done with it. And he's going to soak it for a couple days. By the time he gets oh, yeah. done, there won't be a bit of blood in it. I don't even like fish. But two things I'll eat is crappie. And Leon's blue cat. If you soak your fish in dirty water, your fish is gonna be dirty. Sure. Just the way it is. Keep your water as clean as possible. Right now he's soaking it in boil order water, so. I guess it is boil order water. Oh yeah, on top of the zombie apocalypse, we got a water outage and so we gotta boil our water. Floods is coming. Okay. Joe Diffie uh. died. Coronavirus. <laughs> Pour out a little, a little for Joe Diffie. Prop him up, son. Prop him up. Prop him up. Come in here on the other side. Try to get all we can. The bigger ones have a lot more belly meat on them, but we try to get what we can. But you get more off there than just some people just fillet them and so, some people don't waste a bunch. Some people don't like the belly meat. You know, on the flatheads, of course, it's excellent but on the blue cats you know a lot of people don't don't deal with you don't mess with it so but now we're gonna bring this over here to the table all right i'm gonna take my knife i'm just gonna cut right along that bone to about right there and then i'm gonna cut a little slit right here let me get around there and see what you're doing just a little slit right there just see? like cutting a back strap out right yep just like a back strap now this is the key right here. Everybody don't like blue cat because it's got too much blood in it. And this one's been bleeding a little bit. When you start and you cut, go like that and you lift that meat up when you're flaying it. Try to keep that blood out of that flay. And then you flip it over and then cut right down there. And try to keep that blood out of there. And keep that meat back kind of a little slimy and it's kind of hard and then you just keep peeling it back and try to keep that blood out of there and go all the way down them see that bone right there you ain't okay. wasting no meat on that what little remaining blood you got in it the brine will take that out of it right yeah we'll rinse it off real good
Now you'll trim those up, won't you? Oh yeah, we're going. We're going to trim that up. off, and we we'll take the veins out of the middle of it. We'll have to do another episode on that. <laughs> you freeze yeah. them. You just clean them up a little bit, and then freeze them, and then clean them up better when you thaw well, them out. I, I, I like to soak them for a couple of days in salt water before you even freeze them. Before I freeze them, and okay. then I'll get them out and always freeze them in water. That's what I do. So, okay. You know, I like to rinse them out real good and get all that blood out of there before I even do anything. So it almost fall apart when you go to batter it by the time he gets oh, done with man. it. Oh yeah. I sure hope you enjoyed that video. That Leon Fergie sure knows how to skin a cat, if you know what I mean. But we're gonna get busy on some new content. I hope you enjoy our channel. If you do, please subscribe. See you next time. I sure hope you enjoyed that video. That Leon Fergie sure knows how to skin a cat. <laughs>